Greetings and welcome, fellow captains, to another episode of Let's Play Nexus, the Jupiter Incident. All be very, very quiet now. We are approaching the enemy Gorg base under absolute silence. And if you do this mission right, it's actually kind of boring. <laughs> It's not to find a point in it. This is a space combat game. I want a space combat. But I get I get that the uh, the stealth is a good part of the game that you really should master. You know, you've only to prove that the human faction is, is not completely incompetent. Although maybe I'm just projecting too much from Norbank and all that. I mean yeah, I get it. Cromwell is a human from a sector that was completely cut off and totally strange and alien in his mannerisms and all that. And why is everyone not giving him the benefit of the doubt? He's already successfully, not counting the failures, successfully done many missions already in the sector where he is now with a fantastic alien ship that is capable of doing so much and yet still he's treated like the latest recruit it's just not fair and it's also kind of stupid all right i think we want to make sure that none of the enemy ships kept within 10 uh, range of us so make sure they don't the range is getting awfully close. Support and warning. Radiation reaching critical levels. No. Oh. Support energy low. Device powering down. We have left critical radiation. They've spotted us. They're activating the station's ship. All right, all right, all right. Let's try this again. Aye, aye, sir. And actually, let's try to head for NAV 11. We should be able to reach that. Where's the scout? On the other side of the asteroid, so not a threat to us. Wasn't realizing we had lost quite so much support energy. I mean, as long as none of the systems are damaged, it's probably fine. I'd love to be able to give a little bit extra boost to my engines, but that's not a good idea. Alright, nobody is close enough to be a threat. 
and because they all have their shields down, my senses are making good, good on the time they have to see what they have. Yeah, ECM, ECCM. They've got everything they need to combat me. I mean, I don't think I could handle this many ships by myself. Let's hope that we don't have to. All right, let's think. With the time between cloaks, you can probably cross a distance of 31. Okay. So let's aim for that. Mm. Yes, sir. Actually, no, uh, stop. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Let's just play it safe. That bloodhound is in the way. Let's wait until it passes. And they certainly know that the, something is out here. But yeah, once you lose the cloak, uh, your one Hail Mary shot is to get the commando unit into Theta Station. But that's never gonna happen at a range of 42, so... Let's not, let's not do that. All right, the Bloodhound is moving away. Yeah. 20 minutes remaining, all right, all right. At least the game is making sure that I don't dawdle. Uh, doesn't look like the base has got a... Uh, a flak weapon. Which is fine. Alright, let's see. Alright, at the moment we're charged, we're heading for NAV 17, I think. Well, I am NAV 14. Understood. I think we should be able to make that, provided none of the enemy ships are in range. Uh, where's the Bloodhound? Sensor for Bloodhound. Uh, you're not moving towards me, I think, more likely because we are faulting around the asteroid. Feels like you're getting closer. I know there is a critical uh, minimum distance that we cannot cross into the path of, so... Let's hope we don't reach that with the Bloodhound. Getting awfully close. Well, as long as the stealth drive is up, it's We'll be fine. They've spotted us. 
They're activating the station's shield. This is our commando's last chance to get inside. Damn. All right. One more attempt. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Let's go to nav 11. Twenty five K. It takes us about two minutes, I think. And I could go around it, but there's not really a way to go around. Come on, game. I so wish I could just boost the engine a bit, but that's a bad idea. That's Almost guaranteed to push our energy signature above what the stealth system can handle. Because at the moment, the stealth system is actually kind of weak. <laughs> Alright, so the enemy ships cannot come within five clicks, I think. This was, uh, was the point when it actually was able to see me. And there's the Bloodhound again. Looks like the Scout and the Ranger are well behind us now. I have no idea where the Ranger is. Well, he's not quite behind us yet, but he's well out of range. Right. Well, with them patrolling up here, it's probably a better idea than to move towards NAV-17. Um, I don't think I can handle that with my current NAV engine time. If I stealth engine time. All right, let's do a little experiment. I don't have to wait for the uh, timer to run out. Alright, that works. Now let's see if we can get to uh, NAV 17. I mean, the Bloodhound is still annoyingly close, but there's just no other nav point near here that I can use to get around him, I think. And he's currently moving away from us, so... Hopefully, once we locked into the uh, nav point, it should be fine. And there's the sweeper. Well, he's also currently moving somewhat away from us, so... Probably fine. 
And then do I make a beeline for the base? It is technically within reach of my uh, stealth system. Alright, let's have a bit of a look on the map. We are currently moving towards 17, I think. And the base is over there, so really once we have reached here, there's nowhere else to go but there. Alright, the sweeper is doubling back. But I think we've passed it now. The Bloodhound is comfortably far enough away and not currently heading towards us. Affirmative. Right. I don't think there's any sensor close enough. It'll pick us up at this point. I'll just drop the cloak again once we've reached the position. Hopefully not misremembering what it said that the, all these snaf points are safe spaces for us to uncloak. So we can reach the fader station and do what we need to do with enough time to spare. All right, let's do another save. They've spotted us. Nope, not safe. All right. Affirmative. They've spotted us. All right, let's give it a try. They're activating the station's shield. This is our commando's last chance to get inside. Commandos dispatched. This range, it should be doable.
Well, that's a kick in the teeth. All right, let's try again. Next time. Thank you all for watching. See you then.